You are busy today is remarkable in the sense that it offered us the opportunity to attempt to bring to you up to date of our activities and of course furnish the team with all the information you requested for as contained in the letter to my office concerning this visit. Within one year of managing TCN, this management has vigorously pursued grid maintenance, expansion and rehabilitation, knowing fully well that as a nexus in the power sector, we play a vital role of providing leadership and practical show of commitment to the progress of the Nigerian electricity supply industries, NACI. In view of this, we are working assiduously to ensure efficient service delivery and have reconducted, reconducted transmission lines. Some are still ongoing. We have also installed several transformers, rehabilitated several substations, and have put in place a more proactive maintenance program, which we diligently adhere to, among others. I'm glad to inform you that, due to our collective efforts in TCN, transmission grid disturbances has been reduced to the barest minimum. Grid capacity has also increased substantially, and within the first quarter of this year, TCN efficiently will successive all-time peak generation without a hitch. The latest has been 5,801.60 megawatts to distribution load centers nationwide. We are, however, not resting on our oars as several projects are ongoing while fresh initiatives are also being taken to ensure that we continue to build, our, to build on our achievements. We are also collaborating more effectively with the generation and distribution companies to ensure electricity is made readily available to all consumers. All this, I'm glad to say, have in just one year translated substantial improvement in the nation grid capacity, efficiency, and stability. Our achievements are geared towards achieving TCN fundamental vision, which is to be one of the leading electricity transmission companies in the world by providing efficient and effective power supply to Nigerians at affordable cost. We know there is a lot of work to be done, but we have started up put in place a plan on how we intend to progress towards achieving our vision. TCA remains a critical partner in all the federal government national development policies and programs, with presence and projects in all the geopolitical regions of the country. This is because of the essential role electricity plays in improving social economic activities, which in turn helps elevate poverty. You are busy today provides a veritable platform for interaction between TCN and the course participants on developmental policies under our achievements as well as ways policies can be molded to further improve our sector. At this juncture, I wish to thank you all for choosing to visit TCN as part of your course requirement at this critical time of national building. I also want to use this opportunity to appeal to the management of this noble institute, NIFS, to include TCN as a course participant in your future senior executive courses, considering the important role of TCN, TCN play in national development. Please convey our request to the management of the institute. Thank you and bless you all. Ramadan Mubarak. Managing uh, Director. Engineer Suli Ahmed Abdulaziz. And let me first acknowledge that it's indeed a full house and it's a privilege for us. As I acknowledge other executive directors and the management team here present, the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, as was uh, highlighted by the CEO, is a high level institution with primary objective of serving as the nation's foremost think tank towards developing a crop of top-class technocrats of high intellectual capacity. And the focus is for them to conceptualize and anchor the implementation of innovatives and dynamic policy initiatives and strategies critical for national development. This is achieved in the Institute through the senior 
executive course. Aside from the senior executive course, we have other courses. But with you this afternoon are members of study group one of the senior executive course 43 2021. The senior executive course is the flagship of the Institute's pro, uh, major programs. And uh, it is also always built around study theme that is approved by Mr. President. For the year 2021, the study theme approved by Mr. President is getting things done, strategies for policy and program implementations in Nigeria. You'll agree with me that the country is not short of policies, neither are we short of programs, but the challenge is implementation and ensuring that things are done properly. And so for this senior executive course, the task from Mr. President is for us to interrogate the challenges and issues surrounding getting things done as we x-ray various policies and programs. And that is the reason why we are here this afternoon, particularly focusing on the power sector. The Institute in tackling this task had identified some key sectors. We have agriculture, we have education, but we recognize the place of power. And so the TCA has been acknowledged and recognized as a major stakeholder when it comes to power sector. And so the purpose of our visit this afternoon is to enable the participants of the study group one of the senior executive course 43 2021 interact with uh, the management team and other practitioners in this uh, all-powerful uh, sector on behalf of the directing staff participants of senior executive course 43 2021 of the National Institute Kuru wish to start by thanking you all for receiving us so warmly in your complex and for taking time out of your busy schedule to give us an in-depth presentation on the activities of the transmission company of Nigeria. We also appreciate you all for your prompt response to our questions. We are now better informed about the workings of TCN and how it achieves its mandate as well as its challenges. We want to assure you that when we get back to Kuru, we will write an in-depth and sterling report that will serve as a turning point in the electricity sector in Nigeria, taking into cognizance what we have gleaned from our interaction today with a view to getting things done. Once again, on behalf of the Acting Director General of NIPS, I want to thank you all, the MD and CEO of TCN especially, and your esteemed management for the warm reception. Thank you, God bless, and please stay safe.